Hi there, it's Jo here from Creative Empowerment, back with another Pick A Card reading. This Pick A Card reading is all about what you need to hear. So these could be any sort of aspects or areas of your life. Um, as always, please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and if you like the way that I read. I will go ahead and put some crystals on now to help you make your selections. So here we have our four different piles with some crystals on them. We have blue crystals because we're looking at, you know, communication. What do you need to hear? That's the energy that we're working with. Pile number one is a piece of blue kyanite. Pile number two is a piece of sodalite. Pile number three is K2 stone in the heart and pile number four is infinite stone a type of serpentine serpentine however you say it so go ahead and have a look at those four piles and see which one is calling you and when you know there is a link in the description box to each one of the piles as always please like share and subscribe to my channel if you're not so already and i will see you in your reading bye for now hi there pile number one this is your reading today all about what you need to hear. Um, and the first card we have for you is Links, Discernment, Look Beyond Immediate Appearances. And we have Healing, Geranium, Aries card. So it's about movement, uh, about moving forward. The other thing that I really like here about that um, potion bottle is that it's filled right up. Okay, so I feel like we're, we're working towards emotional fulfillment. So we have the lover's card here. Look beyond immediate appearances. This could be that you're either entering into a relationship or you're, you're looking for one, perhaps. A lot of you, it feels like you're looking for one. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have him behind, this, this behind energy. So I've got the lovers here, got the behind energy of the Knight of Pentacles. And I've got cards flying out everywhere. The Knight of Pentacles feels like he's in the past. He feels like... The old relationship, the one that we're healing from. I've got the two of pentacles underneath the knight of pentacles and the lovers. So the two of pentacles um, is about decision making. Perhaps you're regretting the decision that you made to split up with this person um, or move on from this person because you felt like, you know, like there was deception here. Um, things weren't as, as good as what they seemed or what you wanted um, we have the Hierophant, so this relationship, this old relationship was talking about you learning a lot of valuable lessons. Queen of Swords, um, Queen of Wands here reversed, like we've got these beautiful colours, the purples, the pinks, the oranges and the reds. So we're really looking, looking at both spiritual lessons as well as, you know, sacral and base chakra um, for you. So not pretty and not pleasant so you are going through this healing and and at the moment this may feel like you know maybe it feels like you did something wrong to deserve this but that's not the case the hierophant is here showing me that 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 whatever's happening in your life even though you may have had to make some hard decisions and it may have affected you financially because we've got the knight going down to the page of pentacles in reverse so financially you might be in a worse off position or you know so in some way on the earth plane the decision here that you made didn't didn't necessarily put you forward in life but that's okay we've got the strength card here and you may need that strength you may need that fortitude but um it definitely feels like you know you do have to look beyond this immediate appearances because perhaps you may think that you know you brought this upon yourself i have this feeling here with these the queen of wands and two of pentacles perhaps you know you feel like you made it happen maybe even you know magic did into existence i have that feeling you know that that you're blaming yourself a lot of blame self-blame here and you've got to look beyond this immediate appearances part number one because this is not what's happening well it's what's showing up for you at the moment but it's not the way that that spirit really wants you to see this so we have the world we have the magician and so this is interesting because i have been talking about how you know, you may have thought you magicked this into existence. And I'm using very specific words because I do believe in manifestation and I do believe that we can manifest our future, but I'm using words that I feel like you need to hear. 
So we have the the Wheel of Fortune. I think I said the world. It's the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is showing me that there are things going that are that are changing. Now I'm putting these cards onwards from here. These feel like future energies to me that we're looking at. The strength is um, and the page of pentacles are showing me the kind of current energies that you're in right now. And we are in the healing phase, which is this temperance card. Alchemy sort of stage, taking lead and turning it into gold, um, which the magician is very good at as well. So it's telling me that you are quite a powerful manifester in your life and you may not be someone who really understands that or knows that about yourself. Or perhaps you feel like you can manifest the things that you want to when you want to but when you're in a bad mood or when you're down in the dumps you can also you know everything falls to shit and you can't you can't do any of those things that have that sense about you pile number one that when things are going wrong that the things that are going wrong really get on top of you and and all of the good things about yourself they they make they're really hard to shift for you. They're really hard to move beyond. Which is that energy that we've got there, the nine of wands. It's a bit hard to see over there. I'll move it a little bit. There we go. So we're talking about this future energy here, but I do feel like you're going to be restricted if you keep um, focusing on that nine of wands kind of beliefs about your future about where you're headed that it, you know I don't it, it's almost that martyr kind of um, feeling which it's just what you're healing from you know the the temperance card the healing card the strength you are healing from this situation so the fact that you might get down in the dumps occasionally that's okay, but you don't want to end up there again. Okay, so you want to you want to focus on working on this healing. Eight of Pentacles is work. It's hard work. The Five of Swords. Perhaps you may have some really bad mental habits, or um, you know, what are they called? You know, lines and lines that go on around and around inside your head. Stories that you tell yourself, beliefs. Um, things that make it hard for you to move on perhaps perhaps it's been messing with your mental health but that's okay and i when i say it's okay i don't mean that it's good that you feel like that what i'm saying is do the work go and get some help do something about it this is this is here for you to work through and work on so that you can move forward all of these cards here in this momentum of of the forward energy for you it's it's about you know turning your life around it is turning your life into what you want the wheel of fortune here on top is showing you that there will be a time when you feel on top we have the nine of pentacles we have the sun we have the magician all fabulous fabulous cards the nine of pentacles here is talking about you doing it your way and knowing that you are capable of it so we've got the magician the sun and then the nine of pentacles the one the 19 and then the nine these three cards are breaking each other down. And this is you understanding and trusting that you are capable of managing your own future. You are capable of doing it yourself and you're capable of connecting to source and bringing down those higher energies, that that warmth, that fulfillment, that, um, you know, like filling yourself up with your dreams, goals and your plans for the future. Not getting stuck in the drama, not getting stuck in the old patterns. The Seven of Cups there is reversed, is talking to me, um, is talking about you feeling like there's too much choice at one point. Perhaps this is in other partners, but then that Seven of Cups, that particular one, when it's reversed that way, it shows me that, at what, you know, it's like your, your mind gets all confused and you don't know which way to go. But then what happens is something changes in your life and emotionally you're very clear, you know, which way to go. And it's like a tsunami, you know, you just flow there. You don't need to worry about it. And that's the nine of wands. Don't worry about it. Don't go into that old defensive pattern about worrying about this because this is in the past. 
you've got to do the work and get the lessons from this relationship you've got to learn why you know this happened to you um why it showed up for you what you need to learn from it and how you need to move forward with you know from it um so we've got the moon in reverse here okay interesting now that's interesting because these cards are always the right way around so the moon in reverse oh i love that actually we have the moon reversed and we have the lynx now both of these are showing big cat energy big cat energy big cat energy does not doubt itself look at the little cat here looking at itself not realizing that it is this big cat and this is you this is you understanding that you are not this meek mild thing that sometimes you know you might see yourself as this is understanding that you know in the depths of who you are you are much bigger force to be reckoned with is how i want to say it now the other thing here we have is seven of cups reversed again so again i feel like i don't know if you're somebody who believes in this kind of stuff but you might be because you're watching a pick card reading <laughs> so just hang on a second okay so what i feel here with the seven of cups in reverse is that you are someone who who needs to understand that when it comes to love because i think that's what we're talking about here is that you won't have a choice okay so i feel like maybe you think that that your life is going to be this all of the time that it's going to be hard work that you're not going to find what you're looking for um, and they, they're mental patterns that you need to get over the seven of cups is showing up to show me that you won't have a choice when it comes to love okay you don't need to take your defensiveness with you you don't need to take the anger and the mental patterns with you either because they think this part here is for, for you to get over then we have the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles what you want is coming for you <laughs> that's the best way i can say it what you're looking for in life and that is a partner to share life with by the looks of it even though you want to do it your way you're still wanting that love that respect to share your life with somebody to be passionate with somebody to you know have a life together that's coming for you we've got the house we've got the life we've got the path we've got the emotional fulfillment but the thing is you need to understand that what's happening to you now is all about this healing it's about looking beyond this immediate appearances because this stuff you don't want to look at because you know what this is and if you look here you're seeing more of the same in your future whereas spirit is telling me quite strongly that <clears throat> excuse me you're meant to learn who you are so that you can move forward and when you know who you are and when you you know you're more successful within yourself and you understand yourself more there won't be any choice when it comes to the person that comes in for you pile number one so an interesting reading for you, pile number one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you have. And I hope to see you in a reading in the future. Bye for now. Hi there, pile two. If you chose the soda light, then this is your reading today. Um, all about what you need to hear at the moment. So we have Fox, adapt to the changes. Now I'm putting that up there because that's the bottom of the deck energy and I'll talk to that as well. Um, we have Fox, adaptability, adapt to the changes that are happening and with the king of swords and the queen of pentacles sitting underneath it feels um it almost feels like someone's aging in your life now this could be you and your partner this could be you know your children are aging um, or it could be that you have parents who are getting older um, because we also have the wisdom card with the bay and we have sort of both of these figures are sort of making me feel like you know people are aging the the Queen of Pentacles has grey hair and so does the King of Swords. So I feel like um, you may be looking at some older parents into, you know, into care or something like that. Um, or they don't want to go into care and perhaps there's, you know, perhaps there's, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 
some resistance to that from your parents or perhaps you're you know it's either you or your parents are resisting this change in their lives it doesn't feel like it's coming from a bad place so it feels like you're coming from a perspective of wanting to care for them wanting to look after them and wanting to see them in the right place everybody wants everyone to be happy that's how it feels like to me um and it feels like this is quite a burden you know like perhaps Perhaps no one was prepared for this to happen. Perhaps it's come, you know, come pretty quickly. Perhaps you're looking at your own aging and sort of seeing that and and not prepared to look into the mirror and see that, you know, you are getting older and wiser and that it can be a time of, you know, of change and change for, for the better, that you can start doing things that you've always wanted to, that you've always dreamed of doing, but you haven't had the time, the energy or the space in your life um, to do it. And perhaps this, this is a time of putting down some of the things that you've been carrying for others um, and doing the things that you would like to do. You know, like we've got the Knight of Cups and we've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So perhaps you haven't wanted to plan for the future perhaps you haven't wanted to to think about this time when you're getting older and you don't feel like you kind of fit into I don't know if this is feeling like you don't fit into society but it's definitely feeling like you don't fit into something um, king of pentacles with the with the five of cups here is it makes me feel like I was I was this but I don't feel like I am anymore um, and perhaps this is situational. Perhaps I'm not talking in general here. Perhaps this is, for some of you, that this is something that you were one aspect of your life, that you were locked out of something, that you were um, made feel old, made, you know, feel less than in, in this aspect. But whatever this is, it's, it's a time to learn from it. It's a time to change from it. Page of Cups here. I'm going to come back and talk to in a minute, but this is really talking, you know, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. It's all about, it's about learning things that will, so the words that are coming are empower you, but more more so also fill you, also fill you up, you know, make you feel happy and content and and ready to move forward. You know, the, the Three of Wands, planning things for the future, um, perhaps the things that you wanted for the in the future haven't actually come to fruition yet perhaps this is the things that are that's destabilizing you at this moment um, and you don't want to look at the way and my body's feeling quite a lot of resistance um, perhaps you don't want to look at the way things are going for you perhaps you planned a different life and it didn't show up and you're, you're a bit older now and thinking to yourself well that shit all those things that I wanted didn't didn't turn up even though I'm pretty good on the earth plane. I can, you know, I've got a good job or a good life or whatever, but I still didn't achieve the things that I wanted to. Now, part of me wants to really um, kind of pull back that energy because it's not over, you know what I mean? But I have this feeling of perhaps it's part of your life or your youth or something like that, you know what I mean? Like some part of you is is letting go of something that you've been hanging on to. You've been wanting to to feel vital, I think is a word that, that kind of I want to use. Um, and even you may have even wanted to be self-sufficient and or you may have been self-sufficient and now it's time that you actually start having to, you know, rely on other people, get some help and it doesn't sit well with you. Now, like I said before, we've got, this is a group reading, so we've got multiple aspects happening here. Some of you, we're talking about parents. Some of you, we're talking about you and um, ageing. And for others of you, this is also, it's not necessarily ageing, but it's it's feeling outdated, outmoded, put out to pasture. Come, You know, those types of things when you weren't ready for it or you're not ready for it. Um, we have the, the devil here. And perhaps, you know, perhaps you're feeling like you're being pushed into this. Perhaps, you know, it might make more sense money with money or or I don't know what this is. I don't, this here with, so we have the devil here. And maybe this could be that, you know, you've been offered a lot of money for the house that you have currently. Um, maybe you've been thinking about downscaling. Maybe you've been thinking about, you know, doing something else 
or moving somewhere else there there feels like there's a new start in here i'm quite breathless and i i don't really want this i i feel like i don't want it i feel like this was a long way off in my thinking i didn't really want to go here yet um, i'm quite confused and maybe upset about it and and i feel like perhaps the the life that you have or the life that you've wanted is it's feeling like well i don't know if it's it's over it's not over but it's like i don't know if i'm ready to give it up yet but the thing is what i'm seeing here for you is that this is about accept accepting and adapting to the changes rather than resisting them because of the you know there's a there's a strong resistance here there's a strong not wanting to put away um, whatever you thought you were going to have for whatever period of time, whether that's your youth or whether that's your house that you're living in and you need to downscale, whatever this is for you. There's something new coming. You know, the Three of Cups here, it's a really celebrative card and it's about, you know, perhaps you seeing that either where you are and what you wanted from where you are is, is going to reward you differently than what you at first thought. Um, the King of Cups is definitely you having the things that you wanted turned upside down. It's not what you wanted. The Devil, there's something being offered to you. or But also, I don't feel good in my body, you know. I don't feel like I'm not loving this. I'm not loving how I'm feeling here. And I'm feeling kind of heavy. I wanted this to go a different way. That's what I just want to keep saying. I wanted this to go a different way. It's not how I wanted this to go. Um, and we have the Ace of Wands and the Hangman. So I feel like, you know, you could be on your own. You could be a person who is on your own. Whatever we're looking at here, and I'm not going to say them all again because it's a group reading. So, you know, however you're connecting with this type of energy, there's something better for you on offer. And whether this is a move, whether this is, you know, selling up and move and downscaling, whether this is realizing that some of your the things that you've been carrying for a long time, so this idea that you know that you can be self sufficient or that you can grow your own vegetables, whatever, there's something here you have to put down. Maybe it was a plan that you had and it hasn't come to fruition yet, but something here needs to be let go of. Um, it's like you need to change your mind when it comes to something because there's something better for you. Something new and exciting. You know, this in the traditional right of weight, this is where the, the fish pops out of the cup. And it's like fish can fly kind of thing. Pigs can fly. There's something exciting and fulfilling for you coming. But if you keep hanging on to this stuff here, it's a really heavy energy that... Um, that's keeping you stuck, that's keeping you fixated on the past That and this could be, you know, that this relationship didn't work out and you are on your own now and you didn't want to be, whatever. We're, we're looking at multiple energies of multiple people but there is something coming that is exciting for you and until you let go of this thing that you've been hanging on to, it won't come. Now this card wanted to come out really bad, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it was on the bottom of the deck and I decided to, to reshuffle and then it came up again. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, something exciting, something new. And um, it could even be that, you know, if you do downscale, if you do leave where you are, that the, that the financial situation changes for you, that you see something, go somewhere, you know, that, that things change and, and we go here, we go to this celebration card but it's about changing your way of thinking and it's not hanging on to the past because you've been doing that for too long. You've been focused on what it, what it was that you thought you were going to have and it's time to move on from, from that situation. And it's like you can stay stuck in these old thoughts um, or you can work and get beyond them, get beyond what you thought it was going to look like, what you thought it was going to be like. And when you do, that's when you get to this celebration. That's when the Empress, the, the abundance, that's when you see things through new eyes and you it's like you're it's like there's some mist around you and the mist clears. You're able to move forward um, with a lightness in your step, you know, with um, 
trusting, really trusting. It's a trust card there. Um, and the moon is all about secrets and all about the things that you don't want to happen. Let go of those things. You're much, you're much stronger, much greater, much... Um, there's more to you than meets the eye. And it's about time that you that you let go of all those things about yourself as self-limiting beliefs and move forward in the way that you want to. Look at this Knight of Cups and I've got the Nine of Cups too. So I like these cards here for you. And a Six of Wands. Well, wow. let's take those. When you're ready, so I've got to, got to say these cards in their order that they come in. When you're ready to move beyond, so the Knight is the taking action card. You're going to get what you want. This happiness, this family happiness. Um, the Ten of Cups is that fulfillment. So it's you'll be fulfilled when you realise that there's something you need to let go of. You've been hanging on to it for a really long time. Um, the Nine of Cups here is showing that sort of wish fulfillment card. The Six of Wands is other people around you. And I'm really focusing again on this older person. So perhaps it's about seeing yourself in through different eyes now, you know, like seeing your life through a different lens. Um, but there's lots of happiness here. Lots. This is a success card. This is a card that, that moves you beyond where you think you're capable of going because you've been hanging. There's a lot of bitterness and a lot of resentment that has been sort of residual. It's been hanging on or you've been hanging on to it it's been hanging on in your life and you haven't been able to move beyond it. But it's time. Hope you've enjoyed this reading, pile number two. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like a private reading, there is a link in the description box below. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you in a reading in the future. Bye for now. Hi there, pile number three. If you chose the K2 stone, then this is your reading today. All about what you need to hear. And just looking at your cards, I know you don't want to hear what this is about. Okay, so we've got Kangaroo, our first card, which is be grateful for all that you are blessed with. Now, I know that this is probably going to be the most challenging card that I'm showing you today. Well, maybe, I don't know. But I know that that's not how you're feeling. I know that um, with these cards below... That there's something really big moving through your life probably to do with a relationship so we have swan grace appreciate the beauty inside and all around you so again we've got the t similar cards here um you know similar message be grateful for all that you are blessed with appreciate the beauty inside and all around you and i don't know if you'll be able to feel that at the moment because i do feel like you're going through some very challenging times we have the vitality which is fig and fig is very much that sort of like sexual kind of energy we've got the serpent so there's a lot of that i feel like um, that's sitting on top of the three of swords there could be um, some cheating on you know cheating on someone here um, and that's what this could be that we're looking at doesn't necessarily mean that it is for everybody but that's um, one message that I'm getting I feel like the wheel of fortune and the tower together I feel like you're going through a really hard time which I'm sure that you are all aware of the tower is reversed telling me that you know you probably knew this was coming it's coming for a long time um, and the Wheel of Fortune, I, I feel almost like, yes, now there's some energy changing as we're, we're doing this. So, you know, you knew this was coming. You, I feel like you were watching and waiting for it. And I don't feel like that was a good way of being in my body um, or in your body. But you knew, you knew, you knew it. You were expecting it. They're the words I'm getting. Um, you knew that it was going to happen. You knew this was all coming for you. You didn't want it, of course, but but part of you knew. And then we have the the nine of wands, and we have the five of swords. So I feel like um, this relationship took quite a turn, and it has been like this for some time. And it, you have been working on it for some time. And then we have the three of swords again, and. It's three of swords in reverse perhaps you did quite a lot of work on it or i'm also getting the message for some of you that you are maybe still doing the work um on this relationship hoping that it will 
will be resurrected kind of thing but the death in the reverse again showing me that perhaps it, one one aspect of you knows and was ready for it and then this other aspect of you wants to hang on to it and doesn't doesn't want to let go um, and I can see this you can see all this work you've been doing on it um, but I also see that that I feel like you have you've been someone who has been stuck in this role whereas that person has has hung on to I'm right and um, you know I'm going to take everything almost kind of feeling here and that could be in the way of money finances um, or you know status and things like that in life so we have the three over here of cups and we have the seven of pentacles. So yeah, you've got the seven and the eight of pentacles here. You've been working on this for some time, but you've been getting no joy. Um, yeah. This almost feels almost like, you know, you've had to work with your friends as well, maybe even like um, perhaps your friends have been wanting, to, wanting for you to stay, um, that they, you know, because it's going to upset them and their their relationship with you and your partner we have the four here reversed this tells me again that you're resisting starting something or you know going down this track you're resisting the rebirth that that is coming that's the judgment card the death card the tower the wheel of fortune they're all cards that are talking about where you're going but you know you're resisting it which I understand completely. You're tossing up these decisions, not wanting to go there because this, what you wanted was this when it was around the right way, the celebration, the happiness. But even if you look at those two crows there, they're kind of coming at each other. They're not even that happy. And I think the thing is that, that I still have these cards that are hanging on here because you're not ready to make that decision. You're not ready to walk away. Um... You're hanging on for dear life because of what the promise this that this gave you. Because you're wanting it to still be this. You're wanting the Ace of Cups. You're wanting this to be um, to fulfill you. All right, the Queen of Cups and the Sun. Okay, nice, but the Sun's in reverse. So to me, this uh, with the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the Sun, and I'm really itching the back of my heart chakra, it's like I feel like you're preparing yourself. You're getting ready. You know what you're going to do. You know, you know what's happening. But you need to get a handle on your emotions before you can move forward and perhaps there's some children involved as well. Um, the Ace of Wands there, there will be something that comes and it's like, I don't know, maybe someone offers you something, um, maybe somebody or something forces your hand and you don't get to choose. Maybe you feel like you're, you're waiting till you get all your ducks in a row, but I feel that, you know, perhaps it's taken out of your hands and you have to just jump, just move, jump, I don't know. Okay, with the nine of swords here reversed, I feel like you've already done all this thinking. You've already been through all of the scenarios. You know what's going to happen. And I know the reality of these things is often different from what we think. But I have this message, and that is that it's not going to be as bad as you thought it was going to be. And I don't understand that, and I don't know how that will work out for you. But the thing is, we have the king and the queen of pentacles over here. Perhaps your parents might support you. Um, perhaps, you know, perhaps both of you um, become the bigger people and make it work, and particularly if there are kids involved. The, the emperor here, so structure, routine, making things, um, you know, giving things a structure, giving things an order, making them the work and utilizing that you know having that as a support system the wheel of fortune again and the high priestess so again it's kind of like understanding that that you can do this in many ways it doesn't have to be all um, total annihilation 
it can be done in a respectful way where you can respect each other each other's boundaries um, and you can come at it from higher aspects of yourselves the wheel of fortune here is again it's like you know showing you that these cycles these cycles come up to be worked through and then they they also end you know what i mean like they don't hang around forever trust your own feelings and your own intuition on this don't don't wait to be pushed because I, I do believe that, that you know that there may be a point here where things get taken out of your control and that might be if you want to hang on too long until everything's perfect to make your move um, you have to experience and be grateful for the things that you do have then we have the Ace of Swords, so you will get an idea or, you know, a communication that may help. Um, the Hierophant talking about the fact that this is all a spiritual lesson. Neither of you is meant to get everything you want out of this situation. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it may be messy and it may feel like things will never go back to normal or that you can never recover from this. But that, again, like I said, with the... Um, Wheel of Fortune, it is all for a period of time. It's where do you want to go down here? It's for a period of time and at some point it will be the past for you. So it's not an easy thing to be living through what you're experiencing. Your emotions are, you know, at the moment they are probably getting the better of you. You probably don't know how to move forward. You probably, you know, you might be feeling almost like you could kill someone. Um, because there's so much pent-up emotion that you're unable to express because you are trying to keep a lid on your emotions. But when you're, when you're you know, alone with yourself, that's probably when it's the worst, when, you're, when everything gets overwhelming and you feel like you can't cope when you're, you know, when you don't have to be the best version of yourself for anyone else. But the thing is, and it's really hard to say. But this too shall pass. That's the best thing that Spirit is, you know, getting me to say. This too shall pass. The Nine of Pentacles, great card. You can do this. It is time. The Six of Swords, time to leave. Queen of Wands, you know in your, you know in your own heart what it is that you want. And it will be hard work. Or it will be work, not hard work. But if you choose to stay where you are, it's a constant, it's constant being played with. You know, your emotions, your every every aspect of you is being manipulated and being your buttons are being pressed. It's not meant you're not meant to stay. It you won't be able to stay. And the magician is you, you know, bringing into existence the life you want. Now, this is, um, you know, this is a group reading on a, a channel for a pick a card reading. So don't make any decisions based on it. If, on the other hand, this resonates with you and you it rings true because you have already had these feelings and, you know, this is happening in your life, then that's when you listen to this information. Now, the last cards that I have for you, are some good ones the page of cups something pops up out of the blue for you and the thing that it is is the two of cups a much more balanced relationship but the hangman here is also telling me that there's lots of things for you to you know think about the other thing is here i'm really noticing the the lock and so for me for you that is really about unlocking aspects of you and unlocking aspects of um, you in a relationship and how it, how it might work how it might go changing some of your beliefs but the other thing about the hangman is talking about the future it's not now there's some time in between all of this but I think spirit wanted you to have a positive message to leave this reading on thank you for being here I hope you've enjoyed well I know you probably haven't enjoyed it but I hope you got some value out of this reading um, if you have, please give this reading a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in a reading in the future. If you would like a private reading about your private situation, then there is a link in the description box below. 
thank you for being here. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Hi there, pile four. If you chose the infinite stone, then this is your reading today. Mm. So really, really interesting with this, the energies here. I feel like the cards are all over the place, but each time I look through the viewfinder, they don't look too bad. So hopefully that is the case. Now, our first card is hook, focus, choose your priorities and eliminate your distractions. And I feel like this is super important. Um, for you now this feels business related to me um this could be work related but it could also be family related if you know these other things apply to you we have the product productivity which is making me think about um the work work and business because it's like whew, it's like your it's like you've been working for something for quite a, a long time I feel and whatever this thing you've been working for has felt elusive felt feels felt like <laughs> feels like you haven't been getting what you wanted the two of wands you've had lots of plans hopes and dreams and I don't feel like that they've, they haven't been coming as fast thick and fast as you have wanted them to but I also feel like that it, there's a change coming for you um, and I don't understand what the change is yet because that's just a, a message that I got that popped in. Bottom of the deck energy is the magician there for you with those cards, right? I talked about the fact that you've you've been working on something for some time now. You are diligent, you're a hard worker, um, you're quite focused. It doesn't mean that you're always focused, you know what I mean, like, you know, you're human. But things have been going much slower than you've wanted to. And it's like you've been keeping yourself in this mental prison. Your emotions sometimes get the better of you. But most of the time, you, it's you really your mind that um, is the thing that that creates the problems, I would, would think. Because the thing is, you know, we have the magician on the bottom. You're a really powerful manifester. And the thing is, you don't... You don't understand how powerful you are. That's why you've picked the infinite stone. There's some things that you need to put down in your life. There's quite a lot of beliefs here. We've got a lot of sword energy. Sword, sword. Oh, I'm getting really, I'm getting really sore pain in the jaw as well. Sword, sword, sword. Um, so we've got a lot of sword energy coming in here. This is there's a big, big lesson for you to learn in the way that you like my jaw is so sore so the jaw you know it's about how we chew life how we um, digest life how we break it up into small chunks so that we can manage it and I don't know whether you feel life is too big that you can't chew it or that you know perhaps other people get a bigger slice of the pie than you do there's that sort of resentment regret but also it's a it's a bitterness and it's all this it's a belief that others can have things that you can't. There's a lot of yellow here, which is which I like. I really like that. You know, this is all about a spiritual lesson for you. You know, this whole thing, this whole productivity focus, what you want out of life. We've got the two, the three, the four. You're moving. You're moving. I know it's moving slower than you want to. We've got the reverse <laughs> eight of um, wands here too. You know, it's going slower. But the thing is, you're really learning about who you are in this. We've got the spiritual lesson. You are learning so much about yourself. You're learning about positivity as well as productivity. You're learning about how your thoughts shape your reality. It's a super important thing. And I know you know it because you do understand it. But part of you lets your mind and the egoic mind, you know, get in the way. We've got the two of swords. There's something here that you still don't want to, like it's, you don't want to let your guard down. You want to keep your guard up because you feel like you're protecting yourself but what you also are doing is stopping the flow you're stopping you know it's like there's there's a row here there's a line here and I'm not going any further because my emotions what happens if I let everything come you know how will I protect myself and this the the cross here the cross is protecting the heart in area we also have the two of ones below and I feel like Part of the resistance here, the dreams that you do have, it's like you don't want the world to see them. You're 
you do have all these fiery excite exciting emotions because the queen of wands is here and we do have all this beautiful yellow and fire but you maybe you don't want people to see this part of you maybe you don't want people to know what it is that you're aiming for what you're working towards and maybe because that involves part of you you know maybe it's you that you're working on and your business your work that you're doing and I'm talking really quietly and I don't really know why but it's like maybe you're embarrassed you know like we've got the seven of swords here as well maybe you're embarrassed then this person is not showing their face maybe you're worried about what people will think maybe you're worried about people not liking you there's a lot of that sort of stuff here you know that your productivity your focus it's on that surface level it's about something up there but really when it comes down to it here we're talking about your hopes and your dreams and you're too scared to tell people what it is that you want what it is that you're going for you're trying to hide it even though that's not really you which is it's really super interesting to me because this is not really you you know hiding or hiding this aspect of you because this is who you are you're really quite an open person but maybe this feels like it's too close to your heart to share with others yet and maybe you don't feel like you can be naked in front of people yet you know maybe you don't feel like you can show your full self your true self to people yet and that's why this energy is moving quite slowly along here it's like you know I talked about the fact that you're learning a lot about yourself and you know there is celebration here we've got two celebration cards we've got a three and a four we've got a two three and a four we've got movement but what you're frightened of again we've got the the seven of swords down here what you're frightened of are the things that's holding you back and see how we're going three four five or three uh, two three four and then we've got four four we've got a lot of structure here with the emperor as well so four is all about structure Four is all about, um, you know, building a stable foundation to build upon. So we've got, that's really quite interesting that we've got three fours in a row. So that's really super interesting. What is that about? Because that is, all right, so I wanted to know what the, the fours are about and the Knight of Pentacles came out. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles twice. Slow moving energy, a building energy. And it's kind of like, you know, like, um, that card there makes me think that everything is being drawn to him. Everything is pulling towards him. It's like you can have your cake and eat it too, but when you do it on your terms, it means you're not worried about the little things. You're not worried about where the money will come from. You're not worried about who will follow you. You're not worried about the purchases or whatever it is, whatever your business is, whatever your thing is that I'm talking about here. This is... I keep, spirit just keeps wanting me to say, have your cake and eat it too. So I'm just going to say that. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but hopefully it makes sense to you. But this is all about building a structure, a foundation. And the, the emperor here is about rules, structure, routines, the four of swords. So that, to me, that's really um, social media is coming in. So that's interesting because that's I've never had that come with that card before. But because we're building here, so we're going for the two, the three, and then we've got three fours, okay? That's all about slow, um, almost like planetary movement, you know, like everything's kind of slowing down, but it's heavy and it's slow. Now, when I'm saying heavy and slow, it doesn't sound great. But the thing that I'm getting from the heavy and the slow is that you're creating this foundation that you build something big from you know what I mean like it's this is a big a big structure something that's heavy and there for life that's kind of the, the words that I'm getting so this like I said this feels like social media it, it works while you sleep I don't understand that again so just giving messages that I'm getting and I'm just going to say them don't be worried about other people stealing stuff from you don't be worried about your ideas being taken by others 
um, if you get worried about this, it's kind of like you go backwards. You go back into this worried phase and it's not where you need to be. If people steal stuff from you, that's their stuff. You know, don't worry about it. You, If you get stuck in this, you just get pulled back to the seven of swords again, which is where you feel like you go backwards and you feel like you start, you know, thinking about lack mentality and having to beat other people and stuff like that you're not competing with anybody that's 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 part of your old framework that you may be dealing with or that you may need to get over but this here is about it's like being on top of everything it's about understanding that you can lie straight at night because you're doing the right thing you're doing all this structure that your structure is built on this your your passion your excitement but it's also built on a firm foundation and that's super important it's not built on trying to steal stuff from other people it's not worried about other people trying to steal stuff from you um which is coming back here so the magician is all about how you go into this how you know what you're building the judgment card is you understanding that it's time to let go of the judgment of yourself and this is a big thing for you it's why it's in the past um, but it's something that you're still currently working on and with. This this judgment of yourself has to go. You um, involved in this business or in this project or whatever it is, you need to see yourself as new, like renewed, refreshed. Um, uh, the fool over there, the page of wands, the three of wands, it's like, it's like almost that's got merchant energy down there. You know what I mean? Like you have to see this. It's like your, your frame of reference needs to change. You're not selling you. You're not, your business and you are quite tied, but your, the energy of the stuff that you're doing is more about what you're doing it for, you know, um, whether that to be fulfilling a, a healing need or an emotional need or um, to give people, you know, more time and space, whatever it is that you do. Stop judging yourself and believing that you're asking people for money when that's not what your business is about that may be what business is about but that's not what your business is about and you've got to you've got to change this is a new mindset when it comes to you asking for money and expecting money in your life and i know that's a challenge over here but that's why this four is coming in the fours are coming in three fours are coming in because it's structure structure routine um stability what else and it's also action you know the last one is the emperor and if we're looking at a businessman which we are here right now i'm business person should i say sorry i am a female and i don't even know why i would even use that that terminology but this is about it's about having it all, really, this this emperor. This is about, it's about knowing what you want. It's about getting it. It's about having the things. It's like, you know, it's a, being a real ruler over your own domain. And I love that. I love this card here for you. And it doesn't mean it's going to be quick, right? There's no quick energies here. You don't have that fast-moving energy. We also have the full we ha which is a new beginning which I absolutely love because as I spoke before you need to see yourself differently when it comes to this this is the, the focus it's about choosing your priorities your productivity is important but it's like you have to do it from the right um, energy and the fool is a beautiful beautiful energy light and their light light of step you know is prepared is focused and is really expecting the best, is always expecting that their needs will be met. The Page of Wands is very similar. So this is a really good energy for you to move into this merchant kind of energy that I'm seeing for you. Page of Wands, new, excited, you know, um, passionate energy again. And then we have the three of, three of, oh, then we have the three of Wands. Now, I would have liked to have seen a better card here when we're looking at this. But the thing is, I feel like the Fool and the Page, they talk about sort of faster moving energies. 
but then the three of wands is telling you that you know some of the things that you're planning will take time to show up you know not all of the things you're planning some of the things you're planning will take time to show up and when you know that it means that you'll be able to plan for that future king of swords knows what he wants don't believe the hype okay so that's that the five of pentacles is you going backwards when it doesn't show up it's about not going into that old energy not going into that two of swords and the eight of swords when things don't show up that's for a reason page of swords and strength card because perhaps you need to have new ideas. Perhaps you need to refocus again. You know what I mean? Like we don't always know the right way each time. And perhaps through the struggle is where you get to the really great ideas. Perhaps that's, you know, the Page of Swords is all about new ideas. Five of, of Wands. It's about things moving in different directions. So fives are all about change. So each time that something happens and you're directed back to this sort of past energy go within instead of thinking that something's coming to spoil your fun go within change how you see things the eight of cups perhaps you need to leave some things behind that you have have taken with you into the future perhaps there's some things there even though you've got those strong foundations um Perhaps there's some old beliefs and things like that that, or old ways of thinking that you work with people or work with others or even that you, you know, that defensiveness, that old stuff within you. When it shows up and when you're blocked or feeling blocked, it's for you to change how you see it. And I like how all of those cards have got single figures on them and none of them are looking at you. And I think that's the challenge here. The challenge for you is to focus on what you want without focusing on making everybody like you. About not feeling the lack, not holding on to the energy of that lack, which is I think is I think is one of the things that has held you back here. You every time that you come up against a hurdle, you feel that lack. The lack keeps showing up and the hurdles keep showing up so that you change that way of thinking. And each time the hurdle comes up, Spirit is asking you to refocus, reconnect with why you're doing it, with who you are, what you've learned, how far you've come. And see your way forward from that new perspective and not from that old one. Hope that you have enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you got something out of it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more readings like this one so that you don't miss one. And if you would like a private reading with me, there is a link in the description box below. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in a reading in the future. Bye for now.